Hadouken! Hey everyone! I haven't drawn in a long time, so I'm pretty excited to teach you guys how to draw Rio from Street Fighter. Uh, yeah, I have been so busy lately, I haven't had time to draw, so now it's nice I actually can sit down and draw a little. I'm using a B pencil and I'll offer some tips and advice, so I'll draw this. And a big tip is, a really big tip is, which I haven't really mentioned too much, I kind of mentioned, you know, if you watch a lot of professional artists, they'll sketch first. So always start with a rough, loose sketch just to get your figure down, your proportions. That's why I'm using this, this lead pencil. So let's get started and take a couple of practice strokes up here just off the page. So basically, we'll start with the head shape. So all I'm doing is making a rough sketch, kind of a head, and just follow along. This is what's so fun about drawing, is once you get your own style, and this one I'm going to make kind of stylistic, it stick with uh, how Ryu looks. But right now all I'm doing is making a basic head shape. You can see uh, nose will be here. And his nose just kind of goes down and points up, very subtle and an ear around this area and what really makes him you get all the hair flowing hair over the headband so all I'm doing is just lightly sketching this up Then I want to get the body in. So for the body, I'm just going to draw a huge torso mass. You can see how big I make it. And the majority of this torso mass, and you can see here is like just using very basic shapes, simple line. And the majority is going to be covered by the, the clothing. Then for the biggest part, I want to sketch the muscles, so I'm going to have a deltoid here. It's going to be high up. I'll just make it real sketchy right there. I'm going to have the bicep, and you can see how it's kind of covering up over the face. I'm just sketching. Deltoid's going to be big. I said, so you can go ahead and erase this line and start to slowly arch it downward. Just use a basic shapes for muscles. Then for the head. The hands are going to be like this, very flat, so all I'm going to do is draw a shape. I'm not going to sketch any fingers in, but just basic shapes. So I'm just putting basic shape in, and same with the other side. I'm keeping the same shapes. And just another, he's doing the Hadouken. Hadouken! Kind of like that. Just follow along, keep these very simple shapes. Uh, my best advice if you want to improve, which I still have so much improvement to do, but uh, great advice is go to my like, my video likes, my playlist likes, and just watch all the different unique uh, videos. I got tons of other people drawing videos, and you can see like these professionals. They will start with a very basic rough sketch, uh, maybe add little details here and there, but very simple just to get the proportion. Right now, you see I got the main, 
main body and then the cloth will kind of wrap up and you'll see, you see the pectoral muscles here then on this side you know you have the, the cloth coming in but here you'll see like like I said part of the pectorals abdominal muscles but all this a lot of it's real open and it's shredded I'm just making the open and very pretty open and you can tell this is probably a lot sketchier than I usually do my videos I'm just trying a different approach every time I draw I try something a little different and so for this one I'm just make it sketchier then halfway you have the belt and I'm not going to draw the feet but you now you have the black belt it's just very simple shapes wrap it across and make sure on the cloth you definitely show that tension uh, the waves of the cloth so now you got that, I'm jumping around to the headband headband is what makes this character so I'm just putting that in and you have all this hair and uh, here's a huge huge thing that's very important when you're drawing characters especially faces in general eyebrows are very very important a lot of people misunderstand this but when you when you really get into drawing portraits people you know nose the nose the mouth uh, but mainly the nose eyebrows and eyes are the huge features that really f tell the character part and the reason is with Ryu I'm going to draw the eye first, and the eye sits right about the bridge of the nose. I'm kind of making stylized, almost like a diamond shape. I'm going to come in, but with, when it comes to the eyebrow, very important. He's got almost these three lines. One, two, three, and it looks like that. And then it kind of comes down and arches up. But that's what's crucial. Like, see those three little points? This really separates... Uh, this really captures the character and you'll notice that with many other characters something a small little detail such as uh, you no know, small little detail such as an eyebrow really captures it and for the mouth have the teeth so now that I got basic things let's go in a little more depth right here where we have this sketchy thing will be the biceps so I'm just coming in lightly sketching. Now I'm just working with the forms that I put down more. Uh, tricep. If you want to learn anatomy, check out a lot of other videos on here. I have a basic understanding of it. And it's very important when uh, you get into figures like this or superheroes that you do have a, a basic. Like this is a muscle that wraps around and comes over. But overall, the basic shape is how we sketched it. And so even if you no, don't know the biceps, you know, you can still have fun drawing by, no, by getting familiar just with basic shapes. In other words, you know the arm is kind of this tube shape, then another tube shape. And he's, he's a very muscular character, so I want to make him bulky. Just working on the deltoid back here. And like I said, this finished drawing is going to be sketchy. It's going to be a little more stylized than other things I've done. And I just really feel like drawing a little different today. Now we got that, and then we'll get the other muscle in. This comes up. And let's sketch the hands. He's got those gloves, those fighting gloves. And so the thumb would be about right here. So I'm just going to draw a real simple thumb shape. Sketch it in. I don't like that. For that, and then for the bottom, same thing. Have almost the exact same shape, but on the bottom, so it's opposing. And just follow these little basic lines. So you got those two shapes. Then for the fingers. Let's follow these little finger lines. Kind of like that. 
And I notice as with the fingers, as you get more towards the, this end, you don't see the fingers as more, so they're kind of overlap. So now that you got that shape, you could draw this. I'm not sure what the proper name of the overlapping glove is. There must be some term. But then it just wraps like that. You have the other side of the hand. So he's kind of grasping it. Uh, it wraps around here. That's one hand. So let's get the other hand in. Other hand, same kind of thing. You got, notice how some fingers you don't see. Then you have this finger. And same thing, you'll see that part of the glove. The majority of it is the, the glove part, you see. Just simple shapes on the hand again. And I'm going to darken everything in and add value. Uh, so let's kind of really darken things in. And so uh, for the nose, This said just barely bumps up a little and you got this little nostril and the eye's got a mark. And for the eye, really for the eye, it's just real simple pupil shape right here. You don't want to overwork this thing. I'm going to use a mechanical now to get real dark lines. And the ear, when it comes to the ear, it's pretty human ear, you know. And when it comes to drawing ears, you don't always have to worry about the accuracy as much as it is just getting a basic style that looks like an ear. So don't worry about realism. And for the rest, I'm going to add lots of different hatches, lots of lines. The mouth will be open. I want to make it... Inside them out darker. And for the headband, make this darker. Just lots of hair overlapping. Make a couple of hair going up. This is kind of my own style. You know, I'm using use a reference when I'm not really looking at it. I'm just looking at it so I can tell. Uh, you know, just so I could tell the little traits like the eyebrows and the gloves. And then rest this hair. Kind of just going wild towards the front and the back more so. This hair kind of like that, and then the back part of it has the headband over. So you could just slightly shade in the headband like that. And let's draw the sleeve. So you have the the back muscle, neck muscle here, and the sleeve, which is torn. Just make real big lines coming about right here, start right here and make a couple of lines that show it. Then to make this torn effect, you could just, best way to do it is just simply add different curves like that, add a couple of few curves, a couple of straight lines. Definitely don't keep it all straight. You notice like how the hair is just straight lines. With this, you want it to look torn. So best advice is add a couple of circle shapes, a couple of zigzags. Now don't keep it all uh, in one shape. I'm going to come in and erase some of the guidelines. Especially around the hair. And you can see the difference it makes when you start to erase those guidelines. The finish lines stand out a lot more.
with some of that. And I'm going to go back, work this in. So the deltoid, deltoid is a huge muscle mass. And all I'm going to do is add a little hatching effects. Uh, hatching works amazing when you're doing muscles. And like I said before, please, if you haven't, check out the like videos. They have like many professionals. And you, you can see right away, uh, when you watch those videos, you really will feel a difference in your drawings because, you know, you're just learning different techniques. And under here, it's still ripped. And it kind of just goes back to the cloth. Hope that's showing up. There we go. It's kind of going back to the cloth. So I'm just going to erase these lines. Then work more on the muscles, the deltoid again. Really add like lots of different lines. And you want to, when you're drawing muscles, you want to really show their mass, you know. You got to think of them as shapes. They're going different ways then. So under here it'll be darker, so I'm just adding some lines. I'll shade that in. That's under the the cloth. And you know, just finish up the cloth. Really, when you're doing cloth, you know, like I said before, it's different little tugs and pulls. You gotta think of which way it's flowing. I'm just drawing a line here, that's the end. That's where it connects. It's got three little lines. This will look much finished when I get the value in. Let's work on the arm. And a few more. So, rest of the arm. Like I said, the bicep will come up here. Bicep's a huge mass, but it's not as big as a mass. A lot of artists, or not a lot of artists, but a lot of people starting out, they'll draw the bicep really, really big. When it is big, but the forearm takes a majority space too. Then this arm here where the shoulder is, this muscle where the shoulder is. And my advice would be make these lines thicker of the arm. So you really want to exaggerate how it's above. So if you have the time, just make it a little thicker. And it kind of curves inward to there. And this muscle wraps around. And you can take your time and go back and shade over the muscles. I'm just gonna erase. See the difference now. Once you start, once you start bringing erasing the guidelines, you can really see how finished the work starts to become. I make this mouth a little smaller, actually. Yeah, I'm just gonna make it a little smaller, so the chin would be there. And same with this arm in the back. Exaggerate the muscle lines and really make it look stylized. That's that's the biggest tip I can give. Uh, let's draw the off the off of the headband. You have the bandana piece or headband piece. I'm gonna make it really exaggerate, stylized, and really just make it flow. Let's see, there's one, and then the other one I'll make it go behind, wrap down, and come up. So that's something that's always, a lot of artists that draw Ryu, they'll make the bandanas kind of flow. So that's something I'm just doing there, 
Now kind of go with the flow however you want it to look. Take your own thing. Then here. I really like drawing like this. I know it's a long video. It's over 20 minutes. But I'm just hoping that you really watch a lot of the hatching soaks in how I draw. You know, I hope it just really clicks for you. Because like I said before I did this. Uh, because like I said before I did this drawing. Uh, I had to get inspired. I just That's why it took me so long to get this one drawn. Because I really want to get inspired. I really wanted to do something different and uh, that, that's a big reason you know I looked at videos of other people drawing and so it really got me in the mood to try a little different techniques a little different ways and so that's a big thing right there and of course it'll just come down I'm not going to worry about the lower body just enough to making the lower body very sketchy and of course make this dark the belt it's all about having a style something I can't stress enough is you can practice drawing a nose a billion gazillion times and uh, you may be perfect at it. You may be able to get a realistic nose every time and uh, that's, that's really great. That takes a lot of technical skill and a lot of skill. But something that I've noticed lately that's kind of hindered me in terms of my drawing abilities and my full potential is I will practice that so much and I'm not happy with the results and the, re the reason is because I'm not keeping it stylized. I'm not sticking with my own style. Rather I'm trying to practice. Like I'll draw a face and I'll always draw it the exact same way because I'm trying to practice. And that kind of is bad and that's what I'm noticing. And, and this is why I love to draw because you're constantly learning about yourself and you're also changing things. And the point I'm getting at is it's better to be artistic and to really just flow with it and not worry so much about having to get an anatomically correct lips or a nose. Whereas it's more important that you make the drawing interesting, you make it dynamic, you, ma you make it look, of course you make it look professional and finished, but you also want to have that own unique style that separates you. I hope that makes sense. Uh, and That's kind of something I've been noticing a lot when I draw. So this glove just wraps around. I'm just going to darken it in. And another finger, and one more. You have one in the back, very, very skinny, but you can see it. And the, the piece. There's one, one of the gloves. There's one, and then just come back, erase those guidelines again. You can see it starts to form now. And same with this hand, we'll go back. And question time. Who do you guys do you like better, Ryu or Ken? That's the biggest debate I've ever heard. Which one and why? Leave it in the comments, guys. I'm curious to hear. But I really do hope uh, these tips help you a lot. Uh, really, really hope these t hope these tips help. That's that seriously is one of the biggest things I'm realizing with drawing is 
I try too hard to make things... I try too hard to practice, like I just said. I just want to reiterate it again in case I wasn't clear enough. But I try too hard to practice uh, drawing an individual part, or I'll try too hard to make it look realistic, and rather than just keeping it artistic. And I mean, that's the fun about drawing, is it's artistic. I'll slim this down just a little here. There we go. And basically just get the pectoral muscles here, a couple little hatches, the abdominal muscles. I'm just going to erase any guidelines. And don't forget the hair. I want to make it dark and stylized. And shade this in. Just take your time, show you that. But basically, I'm really happy. I tried something. Friend, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, real quick note, I'm going to try to fix this hand. It's a little bigger than it should be. So I'll probably go back and edit that. And thanks everyone for watching. Appreciate it. And more videos to come. Just finish shading the hair and a few more things. Thanks everyone.